Get ready, fire. Copy. Starting download. Stay sharp. Set up a perimeter while we wait for the download. Chopper's approaching. Sniper's got us targeted. Opening fire. down. Sure, I want to know who's on that guest list. The Bilderberg group, most likely. The who? Exactly. You have paid your dues, suffered the same hardships, accomplished the same successes as your male co-workers, but because you are a woman, you will always be seen Bowman, as... Agua Verde is all clear. It'll take them years to repair these relationships. Carzita's business in Agua Verde is done. Some people on that VIP list are going to get very uncomfortable meetings. Government heavies are going to ask what the fuck they were doing in Bolivia. We're doing good. Keep hitting them hard. Ramon Feliz. Blogger. Academic. Internet journalist. All he ever wanted was to tell the truth. But whose truth? His? Feliz thought that there is only one truth. But we know that truth, like history, is written by the winner. His blog slandered me day after day after day. Por supuesto, something had to be done. So, I hired hackers to track him down. And offered him a job. I explained that telling my truth was much more preferable. My truth kept him alive. All Ramon Feliz ever wanted was to tell the truth. Now he had more truth than he could bear. What's good everybody i just want to give a big shout out for all the subscribers that subscribe to my channel thank you love you guys support me you know and i love this game off the bat just gotta say it like that this is my character right now i'll show you my appearance this is a, i love the gas mask the hat op had some help you know trying to figure out what kind of outfit and to be honest it depends on what type of gun style. So then I'm gonna go over what kind of skills you want, what kind of what I prefer, and I think is the best in my opinion. There's probably gonna be another video of people who got better ones. I totally understand. That's what they want. That's that's what their style is. There's always different style. I like a run and gun stealth mode. Like sometimes I do be stealthy, suppressors all the way. That's what I am because I'm focusing on. Um, I'll get. That's just what I prefer. And I like to rock the MP5 and the, and the M40. Of course, you will go see a lot of people with the sniper. Because that's the only sniper you unlock in the beginning of the game. Okay, now I found this out. The new crazy thing is the first boss you beat, the AK-47 with the scope, is going to look like this. OP to the max. Takes helicopters out in seconds. Like, you're going to see a clip. Pretty soon, I'm going to upload. It takes out helicopters like literally 2.3 seconds. All you have to do is aim it close to the pilots uh, that's flying it, and it's game over.
Don't worry about the people that are like shooting you. Just aim for the pilot and his, his gun. It's going to blow up instantly. I think you see three planes, three helicopters I take out. Just switch to this automatically and then go right back to the MP5 or whatever gun you you prefer. Right off the bat. That's what I got to say. Like, I've been knocking out. I've been using this AK-47 for just only helicopter uses. But let me go right into the stuff. So I have the skills. So I have stability. I should be upgrading that one because I use a lot of snipers when I'm far distance. But I'm really trying to focus this event suppressor because it you know removes the damage reduction of the suppressor that's really op i love it because that's what i'm gonna be i'm just gonna have my team like stealth because i don't want nobody want to hear me and no one's gonna be alerting me uh i like the ammo capacity i'm almost there i just need to find the upgrade for that one i need one more six thousand obviously uh the v vhc i use that now i think this is a good one you should upgrade because there's going to be a 10 there's going to be times where you need to take out vehicles and you should upgrade this one. So this like it's when you know you have to stop those uh, you have to track one of those cars. It's a good way to take out the front and the back first and then just worry about the main one or you tag. And then we're going to go. I haven't upgraded my drone at all unless it's just two batteries. I did that on accident on this one mission. I messed up thinking like the drone had to sit there and just record everything. But I really just didn't go inside. That was just my fault. So I upgraded this on accident. I don't really use, I use the drone just to spot people, but I don't really, I mean, if you're a drone person, I would prefer the EMP. I found that out to shut everything down, you know, the electronics and stuff. So, I mean, I should use that one because I'm stealthy. I like to be more stealth, like just going through around, just knocking people out. But that's just not me. I don't, I rarely just use the drone. And the items, I got the parachute just because I could jump out and then fly in. I mean, I haven't you I haven't saw the mine or the C4 a big thing. The frag grenades I kind of use, not really. I don't feel like it's a guarantee to upgrade or the flare gun, flashbang. Not really. It's not really my preference, but it could be yours. I don't feel like it, I'm wasting my upgrades. I'll probably do it down the road. My physical. This is my physical. Like this has to be. I need to upgrade my stenoma, but. I'm gonna do that later but I do need quiet running and bullet resistance this is going to help me to the max 8,000 health I need and I'm almost there and once I upgrade that I found the boost another 5% reduction by just going around the map you'll see how much of the map I took out I think this is a good these two upgrades and I think a car shield will be pretty good because, you know, you, unless you're driving, but I fly most of the time, so that's why I didn't upgrade it yet. But I think when it comes to PvP, I'm going to, I'm probably going to get the shield when the PvP uploads the DLC. So that's going to be a good one. Detection, that's going to be, I'm going to upgrade. So like when I'm li waiting for a level 17 and 14, it's just the, the detection and the advanced suppressor. And then probably the ammo, just in case if I die for some reason. And the range elite. That's a good one. I like the range elite. But my squad, I have only did the extra the shots because there's some times I just don't want to go in and just like sit back and just have, or I'll shoot one of them and then my friends, the squad does. But if you like have a problem with your squad or you die a lot, I would revive speed. And the squad resistance, those are two good ones. I've noticed that. And obviously I have the born. I found one of the born little increase by 8%. But I haven't upgraded none of them, just only the shot. But I have done the rebel support. So this right here, I have the two vehicle drop off, haven't done it yet. The gun for hire, that, that helps me a lot to some side missions. The mortar helps me a lot. The diversion, I don't really use that one. Spotty, I don't really use one of those two. I like the most of the mortar and the gun for hire. Those are the two good ones. I would look out if you see side missions, just try to get one of those. But that's most of my preference, I think. That's what I like. And this is what, obviously, you guys can see. I knocked two bosses out. So... Like when I say when I go through, I go through everything. I'm not just trying to run through like just little things. I'm probably gonna go back and do these side missions, these little things so I could get 
so I could start upgrading towards my my recent ones. But this is what I really do. I just go through little things. Anything that's like close on the map, like weapons, side missions, like I'll probably knock this one out really too. And that's what I mean, like the vehicles right here, that's where you need like to upgrade. Do I have enough to upgrade right now? I think I do. Where's it at, where's it at? I think I do. Nope, not even close. Not even close. 125, I need 4,000. Not even close. But, I mean, I do take out vehicles. That's what probably the AK, that's what I'm saying. Like, that, if you upgrade these two with the AK-47, you'll run through every vehicle. It's ridiculous. Like, it's just, you'll see in the video, like, later on, it's just ridiculous. That's what I like. That's, it's OP as hell. Because look at that damage. And it's the control. I mean, I really haven't. You can't upgrade it. That's the sad part. You can look at this, beauty, the beast. But thanks for clicking on my video. Don't forget to subscribe and share a like and share with your friends. You know. But thank you. I appreciate the love and hopefully you guys enjoy the game like I do. And I'll see you guys. I'll pop up. I'll pop up another video probably later. Probably gonna do a PVP build. I just haven't figured out what kind of skills I want to upgrade yet for the PVP when I do come out, but I'll have one up pretty soon. I just have to figure out what kind of, like, it depends on your friends, I guess, what kind of friends you're rolling with. That's really what the play style I'm looking at, because I don't know what kind of my friends want to roll yet. If they want to be loud, then it's a different setup. I definitely know it's going to be a lot of reviving. We all know this, so it's probably going to focus on most of the squad, revive speed, and then most of uh, the no pain when you get revived. So those are the two upgrades I know for sure will be a PvP build. But just look for a video of future ahead. Future ahead. Yo, thanks for joining. <laughs>